cries and shout, it's time for What's Trending. You're talking about it, and so are we. It's What's Trending on BYU Sports Nation. Training camp, or fall camp, even though it's technically summer for another seven weeks. But regardless, training camp for BYU football feels like it's underway today. They get the swag, they report, practices begin tomorrow. So, Jerem, it feels like the appropriate time to ask you, what is your biggest storyline going into the 2022 edition of Camp Kalani? First uh, thought is, is, is BYU as good as we think they are? Yeah. Here's the deal, though. With fall camp, it's very exciting. First five, four days, they don't have pads. Even when they do have pads, they're not trying to crush each other and get hurt. Kalani Sitake's priority has always been, hey, we, our number one priority is we've got to stay healthy. Obviously, get ready for the season. But uh, fall camp is exciting for me because, yes, we see the stars out there, but we know certain things about this team already. What I'm more interested in is, are, are questions that mostly cannot be answered until you play games. Mm -hmm. And Robert and I, um, you know, t once told us, uh, when we asked how long do you how many games do you have to play before you know what you have he goes about six man half the it, season It takes a while, right? So what I look for in, uh, in in Fall camp and I'll tell you some of my other storylines after you answer is Who's cracking the two deep that maybe we are talking about who's who's going to play? more than we think and that we need to be familiar with that's what I like looking at in fall camp the most the advantage that BYU football has this go around at least in my opinion, is that just maybe the coaching staff doesn't have to wait six games to find out who they really are because they bring back the core of who they were last year. So maybe that's an expedited time frame, which would be to BYU's advantage. Maybe it's only two or three games to really figure out who BYU is and specifically the top storyline in my mind, which is that running game. Because the biggest change on the BYU's uh, on BYU's offense is clearly Christopher Brooks replacing Tyler Algier, and then the addition of Houston Hay Mooley, who's the graduate, you know, transferring from Stanford to BYU. So that new look backfield behind a very, very established and what we think is outstanding offensive line, what will that bring to BYU football? That is my biggest question mark. And again, as you pointed out, we don't really know the answers to these things until BYU starts to play actual football games. Yes. But it's fun to think about. And